Reflection. I was experiencing certain problems in my life with such negative circumstances, I could not see any hope. I had a series of near devastating events happen one right after another. Physically, I was tired, I was not sleeping well, and spiritually, I was defeated. I began to ask, why do these terrible things happen to me? What am I doing wrong? I went to the Word of God, to Psalm 112. This is one of my favorite psalms because it gives a portrait of the fixed, established heart. My greatest challenge as a Christian has been to remain established despite circumstances and all that the enemy has brought against me. I began to meditate on this psalm. The Lord spoke to my heart and told me that my confession in this life is that I have a fixed, established heart. There are many things that I do not understand. There's a state of confusion on every hand. Through my problems, I question, Lord, why me? I deserve better, Father, can't you see? My Lord began to comfort me immediately. He said, my child, here is what I want you to see. Through life's trials, you will stand, not fall apart. Your confession in this life is a fixed, established heart. Sure, there is confusion all over this land, but with the armor of God, you are able to stand. My word says that you shall not be moved forever. And I love you and will never leave you. No, not ever. Your heart must be fixed, trusting in your Lord. Fear, doubt, and unbelief you just cannot afford. Through life's trials you will stand, not fall apart. Your confession in this life is a fixed, established heart. I know you think things do not work out as they should. Trust me, I'll work these things together for your own good. Circumstances prevent your seeing my ability. Please don't focus on them, my child. Don't limit me. In your heart daily, you must plant this seed. Look to the bigness of your Lord and not your need. Through life's trials, you will stand, not fall apart. Your confession in this life, I have a fixed, established heart. Reflection. I awoke very early one morning I had been experiencing apparent defeat in certain areas of my life. I felt like just giving up on everything. Sometimes our lives seem like that violent storm that the disciples thought was threatening their lives. Like them, we need to hear the voice of the Lord say to our storm, Peace, be still. I cried out to the Lord asking him to give me a word to help sustain me. As I expressed my need to the Lord, he gave me peace with his word. Stand still and see the salvation of your Lord. I love you so much, Lord, but my mind is full of doubt. There are so many things I just cannot figure out. I know you have the answers that I need to know. Open up your word to me, and please let them show. Your word tells me if I would only call upon you, you would show me things to come and exactly what to do. I am under pressure to just give up and quit, my Lord. Yet I know these feelings of defeat I cannot afford. But when I feel like giving up like I surely do now, what can I do to keep from falling? Please tell me how. After having done all I know to do, you say that I'm to stand. But my heart is slowly breaking. I don't know if I can. And my Lord said, Listen, child, when you gave your heart and life to me, one thing should have been evident. 
but now you must clearly see that I not only saved you and made you whole, but your precious life is now within my control. Trust me, I will make your path very clear and bright, and I will lead you in the perfect way that is right. Now I will speak peace to your heart and mind. They shall be in one accord. My word for you, my child, stand still and see the salvation of your Lord. Reflection. My heart was broken. I had suffered what I perceived to be an overwhelming failure. If we love someone, we don't want to disappoint him or her. I loved the Lord with all of my heart, and all I could see was that I had let him down. The Lord showed me that I had been saying to him, Lord, I failed in this situation, but I'm successful in this situation. Please accept me. Please love me. The Lord reminded me of what the enemy had blinded me from seeing. He showed me that his love for me is not dependent upon anything I do to earn it. He is love, and I can rest in the knowledge that he sees me perfect through the precious blood of my Lord Jesus Christ. So I stopped struggling with the concept of failure. I understand that I don't deliberately open myself to failure, but I recognize that when I do fail, The love of God in Christ Jesus is far greater than my failure. The love and mercy of God have made me free to fail. You are trying too hard, my child, just let go. I see the struggle inside that the outside doesn't show. You are so unhappy with your failures and will not give them to me. Understand even those things I can transform into victory. You want to give me your strengths. Your weaknesses you don't want me to see. But my strength is made perfect in your weakness, child. That is the key. Besides, what looks like failure now may not always be the case. Because I see the beginning and end. Yes, I know what you will face. I love you so much. How do I get it across to you? And it doesn't depend upon how well you think you do. You can never be good enough to merit my grace. Christ purchased this for you. So in my heart, you have a place. Please believe me when I tell you, child, that all is well. There will be times in life when you must be free to fail. Reflection. Many times while I'm in prayer, the Spirit of the Lord searches out and uncovers those deep-seated emotions that I may not be aware of consciously. This particular morning, God was showing me the pain and unforgiveness in my heart. And because I am a Christian and I know that God requires me to forgive others as He has forgiven me, I found that many times I would forgive with my head and not my heart. My Lord requires heart forgiveness. He does not ask me to do this in my own power or strength, but in the power of His matchless, all-encompassing love. Only the Spirit of the Lord can reach inside us and heal memories and soothe the pain and hurt that this life can bring over the years. Because I have experienced God's grace and forgiveness, I listened intently when He said, I have called you to a higher standard of forgiveness and love. My father had a word to share with me one day. He said, child, today I will show you a better way. You have shadows of pain and ghosts from the past. If you choose to release them now, the pain will not last. I have healing balm to put your emotions together again. Completely open your heart, dear one. Please let me begin. I will give the oil of joy for mourning unto you. 
Putting on the garment of praise is what you must do. Although you may not forget everything that you know, I tell you the wounds will close and the scars will never show. Understand you have no future if you won't release the past. That includes everything. Release the good and the bad. Your God is bigger than any challenge you face. That's true. And because I live inside you, shouldn't I show through? Listen to me, my child, to your Father God in heaven above. I have called you to a higher standard of forgiveness and love. Reflection. I was standing at the crossroads of life. I had a decision to make that was to affect my entire future. I was wondering what my life would be like and what the Lord had in store for me. The Spirit of the Lord quickened to my heart, Jeremiah 29, 11, where he is speaking to the nation of Israel. They were in captivity in Babylon, and God promised to visit them and release them. He assured them that his thoughts towards them were good thoughts to strengthen and give them hope. It seemed that for several days I was hearing the scripture in my spirit. My father began to speak to my heart and say, I know the thoughts I have toward you. At this point in your life, you are wondering what to do. But your God says, child, I know the thoughts I have toward you. They are good thoughts and plans for welfare and peace. The confusion you feel now will surely cease. You think, I don't understand the plan. It must be wrong. But I'm asking you to trust me and just purpose to be strong. I'm saying to you, do not be weary in doing well. You will reap if you don't allow a fainting spell. I know the fulfillment of my plans for you you want to see. I'll guide you one step at a time because the end is really me. My plans for you are not evil. In your life my will be done. To give you an expected end. Yes, hope in your final outcome. At this point in your life, you are wondering what to do. But remember, my child, I know the thoughts I have toward you.